It used to be the case that you could install unlicensed apps for iOS only by jailbreaking your device. Jailbreaking has always been somewhat of a risky move in that it lowers the security protection on your phone and potentially voids your warranty with Apple. However, new services are cropping up that let you install unauthorized or pirated apps far more easily but no less dangerously. Just a couple days ago, the app pirating community Haculus abruptly closed its doors, citing a stagnant community, which was hardly the case. Haculus was responsible for the app Installus, a store for pirated iOS apps that is also now defunct. For already jailbroken devices, there are several Installus alternatives that aren't too hard to find if you know how to use Google. But following the demise of Haculus, we're also seeing services that could make it possible to install pirated apps even without jailbreaking. One of these is called Zeusmos, which touts a so-called try-before-you-buy feature for apps, which basically resells existing copies of paid apps with stripped licenses. It's free for jailbroken phones and available on non-jailbroken devices for a fee. There's also a Chinese site called Kuaiyang that offers a similar service but is free for everyone. This type of unauthorized distribution is forbidden by Apple and potentially quite risky. Some security hawks have warned against running unauthorized stores like Kuaiyang. And the model that Zeus most uses may already be in jeopardy. As of this writing, the site is down and the creator has issued a statement clarifying that it will no longer encourage cracked or pirated apps and no longer allow ease of access to App Store applications. So it could still be possible, but that's not its stated purpose. Rather, it's a signing utility for developers. Reportedly, some who paid for the service explicitly to download pirated apps are now asking for their money back. Have you ever jailbroken your device? Did you ever run into any problems as a result? Let us know in the comments. And by the way, this isn't the only headache that iDevice users and Apple are facing early on in the new year. On January 1st, some iOS 6 users who set up the Do Not Disturb feature found that it wasn't turning off at the scheduled time. So people's calls and texts were being silenced when they expected to be getting them. They had to go in and turn the feature off and on manually. And in a fit of bad timing, Apple just released an ad for the Do Not Disturb feature starring tennis greats Serena and Venus Williams. And if the rumors that Apple is already testing iOS 7 and iPhone 6 are true, hopefully they'll get the Do Not Disturb feature right the next time around. But in the meantime, Apple says the iOS 6 bug will be fixed by January 7th. Williams sisters, play us off. This is Annie for TFN. Ever have a really cool dream? I'm having one right now. I don't want to be disturbed. And I won't. Because before I went to sleep, I said this.